All right, so we're on to the API Gateway Cheat Sheet. So API Gateway is a solution for creating secure APIs in your cloud environment at any scale. Create APIs that act as a front door for applications to access data, business logic, or functionality from backend services. API Gateway throttles API endpoints at 10,000 requests per second. Uh, we didn't mention that in the core content, but it's definitely an um, exam question that might come up where they're like, oh, you have something you're going beyond 10,000 and it's not working. Well, that's the reason why is that there's a hard limit of 10,000 requests per second. And then you have to ask uh, for a uh, increase, uh, a service level increase by AWS support. Uh, stages allow you to have multiple published versions of your API, so prod, stage, and QA. Each stage has an invoke URL, which is the endpoint uh, you use to interact with your API. You can use a custom domain uh, domain for your invoke URL, so it could be api.example.co to be a bit prettier. You need to publish your API via the deploy API action. Uh, you choose which, which stage you want to publish your API, and you have to do this every single time you make a change. It's annoying, but you have to do it. Resources are URLs, so just think forward slash projects. Resources can have child resources, resources so uh, the child here being uh, hyphen id edit hyphen 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 is like a syntax it's saying this is a custom variable that could be three four or two it's not an exam question but it's good for you to know uh, you define multiple methods on your resources so you're gonna have your get post uh, delete whatever you want uh, cores issues are common with api gateway cores can be enabled on all or in individual endpoints caching improves latency and reduces the amount of calls made to your endpoint uh, same origin policies help to prevent xss attacks same origin policies ignore tools like postman or curl so the uh, uh, same origin policies just don't work with those um, or don't work but it just they ease that so you can work with those tools cores is also enforced by the client P client would be the browser so cores uh the browser is going to definitely look for cores headers and interpret them uh, you can require authorization to uh, to your api via avis cognito or a custom lambda so just so you know you can protect um, the calls to uh, api gateway